Hi, how are you? Welcome to this uh, um, security chapter Fireware uh, course, uh, specifically regarding identity management Keyrock generic enabler. And this is the second lesson uh, of the of this course in which I'm going to show you uh, an overview of the Keyrock uh, IDM portal and uh, also um, how to manage uh, accounts and organizations. Okay, so I will uh, show you how to create a new account. Uh, I will show you this uh, overview of the account portal uh, and how to manage your, your account and, and organizations once the, the account is created. The first thing that we need to understand is uh, which types of accounts uh, we have in Fireware Lab, okay? Because this uh, lesson, uh, the, 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 the whole course uh, is uh, based on the running instance in Fireware Lab environment, okay? When you create uh, an account, your account uh, could be basic, trial, or community. Having a basic account, you can, of course, uh, manage organizations, you can register uh, your own applications, and uh, this is important, you will be able to use uh, cloud infrastructure only if uh, other users uh, authorize you, because the only users that uh, will have uh, the needed rights to manage cloud resources in Fiber Lab will be trial users and community users, okay? Trial users is, uh, allows you to, to use the cloud environment during a trial period of uh, 14 days and only in this Spain 2 region. And if you request a community account, uh, you will be able to do so during nine months and uh, with the region that uh, is assigned for you. Later, I will show you how to, uh, how to do so, okay? Um, okay, how is the, the flow um, between these accounts? When, when you are a new user and you register in uh, Fireware Lab, uh, you can create a basic account that is the default, uh, the default behavior. But if we need, if we have trial accounts available, you can also uh, be a trial user during these uh, 14 days. Okay. When you are a basic user, you can upgrade to a trial account if available, or you can request a new community uh, account uh, that consists in sending a request application form. Uh, to the specific node uh, that you want to, to, to start using, okay? Uh, of course, this application form can be also filled from uh, a trial account, and uh, in both cases, if you are a trial user or a, commu or a community user, when your uh, period of testing, uh, 14 days in case of trial accounts, or nine months in case, in case of uh, a community account, you will be again a basic user. Okay, so uh, here the documentation that you probably need in order to start working with the Fiverr account. Here uh, is the user guide, and here you have the steps that you need to, to do in order to upgrade your account. But uh, I'm going to show you all these things in this uh, live demo, okay? So, Let's go to the main page of uh, Fiverr account portal, that is this one, in which uh, you can see here some uh, a description of, of the Fiverr account portal. Uh, you can directly from here uh, request uh, an upgrade of your account. If you click here, uh, you will uh, find here a form in which you have to fill some data in order to request a new community account, okay? All the things that you need to fill here are explained in that uh, link uh, that, I, uh, that I put in the, in the slides, okay? So that you have uh, it explained. Here you have uh, some links to, uh, to uh, relevant, uh, relevant, uh, relevant pages. The Fiverr Academy, where you will find this, uh, this course and other courses. Uh, here information about Fiverr lab codes and also the, the Fiverr catalog and, and a help, 
and a help uh, request the page when you when you can send uh, an email okay in order to ask uh, for information here in this uh, in this uh, panel you can uh, log in if you already have an account and uh, clicking here you can uh, create a new account if you don't uh, have uh, it so uh, tipping uh, clicking on sign uh, sign up you have to fill here your data in order to create your new account once the account is created uh, you will receive a confirmation email uh, that you have to uh, open in order to confirm your account okay and uh, what happened when you already have the account and you sign in in the platform okay uh, this is uh, the main page of the account portal uh, in which uh, you will find the following things okay here in the left in the left side you have the the navigation panel in which you can go to the home page of course you can go to the organization uh, organizations um, uh, menu and you can also go to the applications here you have you have also a summary of the applications and the organizations that you that you have okay uh, in this uh, in this uh, option you can switch to other organization i will show you it later and you can uh, configure some settings regarding your account okay you can change uh, the password of your account uh, even the email on uh, or cancel your account but the most important uh, option is this one in which you can see uh, which is the current status of your account okay in this case uh, this account is a basic one uh, if I had the, if, if I have a, a trial or a community account here I also see the period uh, in which uh, uh, this account uh, is, is valid okay and again here the button to uh, get this form to request a new community account okay but uh, uh, coming back to, to, the, to the main page, I'm going also uh, to show you how to manage organizations, okay? Applications uh, not in this lesson because uh, we have a specific uh, lesson in, in order to, to show you how it works, okay? So regarding organization, uh, I'm going to create a new one and to show you how to manage member uh, inside, okay? So if I uh, create here Fiber course uh, organization and this is a test uh, org that in the description and I click here on create organization uh, I can uh, start managing this new organization by adding members inside okay so uh, as you can see he has uh, automatically switched me to, to, to this organization but here I can return to my main, uh, main account page okay this is the, the main page of my, my account and here I can switch the session to uh, my existing organizations in order to start uh, managing them okay I can also go here to the organization tab and um, in the owner tab I can see that here is the organization that, that I uh, just created okay here are the organizations that mm, does not uh, do not own to me but uh, I'm a member of, of them okay if I enter here I can uh, manage here the members that are uh, included in the organization okay so for instance I'm going to add here um, other user that is uh, for instance uh, other other account that that I that I have okay for reason this one click here and uh, here I can manage if this user will be a member or will be an owner of the organization that will provide him special special rights inside okay so uh, now I uh, I have uh, updated it and as you can see here in the members uh, panel this new user is uh, already included. As I said before, I can also manage these things by switching to to the to the organization here. In this in this uh, in this uh, way, here I have directly the members tab, okay, in which I can see directly the the members. Okay. Here I can again manage adding and, and removing uh, 
uh, add and remove uh, members in the in the organization. For instance, I I, I will remove this uh, this user, and I can also uh, authorize uh, manage the permissions inside. But this option is again an option that I will uh, show you in uh, further lessons. Okay. So uh, that's all for for this uh, lesson. Uh, many thanks and uh, of course see you in the next one. Bye.